Miriam Keita and Sylvia Anyango have anemia, a condition that affects one in four people worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, women are considered anemic when their red blood cell concentration falls below 12 grams per deciliter and men below 13 grams per deciliter. Kita and Anyango partly blame their anemia on pregnancy. I think I got anemia because I got pregnant again soon after giving birth and I cannot afford healthy foods. I cannot get my blood levels to the required minimum because I would need vegetables to have enough blood in my body. And also, when I give birth, I would be at a disadvantage. According to health experts, anemia during pregnancy is linked to increased rates of preterm labor, postpartum hemorrhage, low birth weight, still bath, and infections in both child and mother. Symptoms of anemia include shortness of breath, dizziness, and fatigue. Doctors say a key cause of anemia is a lack of food containing iron, a mineral the body needs for growth and development. Key sources of iron include red meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. What I've been witnessing is um, the increase in iron deficiency anemia, and the most significant contributing factor is household food insecurity. So many of our patients are unable to afford iron-rich foods, or basically food at all. They always end up skipping meals to survive or reducing the quantity of food to be consumed or the quality of food. A 2023 study by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation found that the primary cause of anemia in 2021 was insufficient dietary iron intake. Iron deficiency accounted for two-thirds of all cases of anemia, affecting 825 million women and 444 million men worldwide. According to the study, Sub-Saharan Africa bore the greatest burden of anemia and countries like Mali, Togo and Zambia had a more than 50% prevalence. Besides lack of iron, causes of anemia in the region include malaria, HIV and blood disorders. Josfat Njoroge lectures in midwifery and nursing at Kenya's Amref International University. He says anemia can be treated with better nutrition. So once this is detected, we start by introducing iron-rich foods to this person. We can also introduce iron supplements, and this has been the mainstay of which the government is also putting much emphasis on this. If this anemia is extreme or severe, we can do blood transfusion, where we now have to supplement whatever the blood volume that the patient already has. The World Health Organization aims to reduce the prevalence of anemia among women of reproductive age to at least 50% of 2012 levels by year 2030. Mohamed Yusuf for VA News, Nairobi.